Hey, sis, what's your question? I know y'all got a question. Oh, my cousin already got me. Oh, your question? Your cousin got you on it? What's your cousin got you on? Uh, she's the who I know on. I'm Levi. What? I'm Levi. You're Levi? You're from the top of Levi. Oh, that's crazy. What Christ look like? What Christ look like? Look like. What you look like? You look like me and you. All right, all praises. So, where are you congregating at? I didn't know y'all was here. Oh, that doesn't stop. That doesn't stop. That doesn't stop. Hey, how about you, sis? You congregate? You congregate? You don't congregate? You believe in the Bible? You don't believe in the Bible? So you don't believe that you're a child of God? I don't believe in the Bible. Well, how do you not believe in the Bible if you're a child of God? Oh, I don't believe you. You don't believe in the Bible? So how do you find out about God? Because I know it's got to be how you be and wake me up. What do you learn about it? What do you learn about it? Well, my daddy What did he learn about it from? Like then, I wasn't really to the uh, so most, most, more than likely, the source of your information about God came from the Bible, because that's the only source on this planet that gives you. Say again. Oh, you want to know? You want to know the name? Say again. Y'all wait on Oh, you said the most high. But that's a confusion right here. First Corinthians 11, good, actually. There's a little bit of confusion. You said the most high, and then you said Jesus. No, you I said, didn't say no Jesus. No, no you said, who, what do we call Jesus? Yeah, that's what I said. What but we don't call Jesus the most high. That's his father. No, 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 no. That's his father, so we're going to show it to you. No, what I said was, what they called you to say the most high. Lord. We don't call Jesus the most high. No, 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 no. I say Lord Jesus. What do you call? That's two different people. That's, that's what I'm trying to tell you. What they, the Most High is God. Right. That's Jesus is His Son, the Christ. Not, but I say the Most High. I don't say Jesus. That's what I say. I but ask, that's not the Most High. Then who's His Father? If you call Jesus the Most High, then who's His Father? First of all, what I do and how I do it, that's what I think. I just want to hear what you're saying. I just want to hear what you're saying. I'm talking about. A little bit louder, please. All right, let's go ahead and let me We're going to clarify something. But you said you call Jesus the most high. That means you're calling the most high. That's not what I said. No, what did you say? I asked you, who do you call on? I said, do you call the most high or Jesus? That's what I said. Which, which one? Who no, are you talking about? You. Which one? Which you. one? You stop me. Do I call Jesus or who do I call the most high? That's what I said. I said, do you call on Jesus or do you call on the name of the most high? That's what I said. Oh, do I call on yeah, Jesus or do I call? Time. No, yes, I didn't. Okay, like that. That's not. Okay, that's that's not. Now, now I know. Okay. okay that's let's, 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 let's get one and over. Matthew 6 and 9. Matthew 6 and 9. She wants to know who we call on when we pray, right? That's what you want to know. That's it. Matthew 6 and 9. That's America. It's in the Bible. Read. The book of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 9. Uh -huh. After this manner, therefore, pray ye. So after this manner, it's written in red. That's what Christ said to do. So after this manner, pray ye. Our Father, our Father. We're not praying to Jesus Christ. We're praying to the Father, not Jesus. So when you say, what name do I call upon when I pray? It's the Most High God. Our Father. You understand that? Oh, what other question you have? Can I clarify that for you? Go back to First Peter 11. I mean, Say again. So you don't believe in no, no scripture. All right, so, uh, I didn't say that on the first of my mouth. What are you saying? I didn't say that. What are you saying? I called on that guy to do with me. That guy had nothing to do with you. They got no, no, not me. I didn't say it had to do with me. You stopped me. You stopped me. I was going over there. I'm trying to edify my people. I'm good. I'm good. What's your nationality, sis? I want to find out about whatever. I got to come here to do the same thing. I did it all this. Your daddy did this? He called himself an Israelite. He did? Now what's your what's your what's your nationality? Be patient with me, sis. Just be patient. I don't understand. I don't have all your background that's in the back of your head. I don't have it. Just be patient with me. I'm just trying to edify my people. They can hear this thing too, right? You don't have patience. Okay, what's your nationality? Yeah. African American. You said your father was an Israelite. Right. Right. So. 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 Right. So.
Who's that at? No, it was not that good. We still have it. It was good. Oh, we know this. That's right. I'm going to go back to the first person's level three. So there's no confusion to the people that's out there who are patient. Wait. The book of First Corinthians, chapter 11, verse 3. Uh -huh. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. So every Israelite man, head of them, is Christ. He's our leader. He's our Lord and Savior. He's the king. Right? Read. And the head of the woman is the man. Every Israelite man has a woman. He's the head of his household. He's the head of the woman. He's the head of the children. There's no question about it. There's no 50-50 going on in America when it comes to the Israelite man. Read. And the head of Christ is God. The head of Christ is God. So when we, when we pray and when we call upon our Lord, we call it upon the Father, not Christ. You understand? That's, that's all we had to go. But sis, right here. Hey, yeah, I know. We're talking to him. I'm right here. He's going to say the same thing I'm going to say. Come on. Come on. He's going to say the same thing. Oh, now you don't know. What, what is this about? What is this about? I got the Bible right here. He don't have the Bible on him right now. Come on, sis. What's the question? Hey, John, what was the question? She was saying that she don't believe in that name Jesus. The name Jesus? Yeah, yeah. So you don't believe because because he was born in a certain captivity and people called him a certain name. No, it's not gay. It's the way the church was. When I was making sure they made it, they already Oh, you're saying the name itself. The name Jesus. You know, what that actually is. We're gonna, we're gonna show you something about the name. Okay. We're gonna show you something about the name. Like you said, the Christian church gives all this thing, they put everything on the name of Jesus. And they don't give no credit to the Father whatsoever. They, a lot of times, a lot of times y'all say that uh, the Father and Christ are the same person. And they, they don't realize that like, uh, well, no, right? God sent his son to deal with us. Right? So that's not that's not the same person at all. But we're gonna deal with his name real quick, right? Let me shut you down. That's a, that was a good question. Are we the children of the Israelites? That just means he didn't know the answer. But we got the answer for you today. Read that. The book of Isaiah, chapter 9, verse 6. For well, unto us a child is born. Unto us a child is born. Read. Unto us a son is given. The son is given. This is Jesus the Christ, right? Read. And the government shall be upon his shoulder. He's going to be king. The government is going to be on his shoulders. That's called a ruler. That's called a leader. And what do they call them today? Presidents. Yeah. Same person. The person that sits at the top. Right? The government's going to be on his shoulders. Read. And his name shall be... His what? His name is what? His name uh -huh. shall be called... Wonderful. His name's gonna be called Wonderful, Rick. Counselor. He's gonna be called Counselor, Rick. The Mighty God. He's gonna be called the Mighty God, Rick. The Everlasting Father. He's also gonna be called the Everlasting Father, Rick. The Prince of Peace. He's also called the Prince of Peace, Rick. You understand? So the name Jesus is, is, is really just a name. He was born to Mary and Joseph, and they named him Jesus. Just like it means the same thing as Joshua, right? Yeah, Zephaniah 3 and 8. The book of Zephaniah, chapter 3, verse 8. Uh -huh. Therefore, wait ye upon me. God said, God said, wait upon me, right? Read. Saith the Lord, until the day that I rise up, raise up the prey. So God said, at some point, I'm going to raise up and knock down all these enemies. Read. For my determination is to gather the nations. But, but my determination is to gather the nation. Israel, all 12 tribes. I'm going to gather them. This is how I'm going to do it, right? That I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them my indignation. He said, I'm, I'm going to assemble the kingdoms and pour upon them my indignation. Indignation means very angry wrath. Right? Even all my fierce anger, for uh -huh. all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. So God said he's going to devour the earth with fire. So has that happened yet? Has God came down and devoured the earth with fire? How about you, bro? Has God come and devoured the earth with fire yet? He has not done so yet. We still here. Ain't nobody, nobody walking around like a lump of charcoal right now. He ain't done it. It has not happened. He flooded it. There's no fire coming, right? Not yet. 
read, but we're still on the topic of the name, read. For then will I turn to the people a pure language. Us is going to give us a pure language. Once he does that, he's going to give us a pure language. But that means we're all going to be speaking the same tongue, and we're all going to be able to understand each other. That means we're all going to have one mind, we're going to understand, like, I say, that's a blade of grass. Everybody's going to agree and say, yep, that's a blade of grass. There's no, not going to be any confusion in that thing, right? It doesn't matter what language I speak in. At that time, blade of grass means blade of grass, right? Read, pure language. That they may all call upon the name of the Lord. That they may all come upon, call upon the name of the Lord. Once we have the pure language, once the earth has been divided and fired, understand? So that has not happened yet. And then they can all call upon the name of the Lord when to serve him with one consent, with one consent, one mind, one definition. There's only one meaning to this name. So the way it is right now is the way it's supposed to be, because that's the way God ordained it. Because it's written in the Bible already. That was going to be that way. So when people say, I call upon the name of Jesus, or I call upon a Yahshua, or I call upon Yahweh, it doesn't matter. All those names do not matter because we get the pure language once the earth is divided and power. And then once we get the pure language, we can get the actual name and we're all are going to agree to it. You understand that? What else you got? So we, we were dressing, right? So your pastor ran away. He didn't have the answer. Even though the answer was in the book the whole time. Oh, I already know. You already knew. All right. You knew that one. Isaiah 9 6. You knew Isaiah 9 6. Definitely 3 and 8. All praises. Numbers 15 and 30. Numbers 15 and 30. Hey, sis, where you going? Sis, you say you know you leave. Don't run. Don't run. Don't run, sis. The good that direction is a good thing. How much do we learn? Read. The book of Numbers, chapter 15, verse 38. The sister says she already knows she was Levi. She already knows she's a child of God. And here's your life from the tribe of your Levi. The sister knows she's a princess of God. Read. Speak unto the children of Israel. God says, speak to you, sis. Read. And bid them. And command you, all you Israelites, command them, read. That they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. You need to make fringes in the borders of their garments. You know what a fringe is, right? You see us wearing them, right? All right, now, sis, read. Throughout their generation, throughout your generations, read. And that they put upon the fringe uh -huh. of the borders a ribbon of blue. A ribbon of blue. You see that ribbon of blue on every man's shirt out here, right? All right, can you read? And it shall be unto you for a fringe, that you may look upon it and, and remember all the commandments of the Lord. And remember all the commandments of the Lord, read. And do them. And do them. Hold on, sis. That ain't all I got for you. Exodus 28. Bring it out. Bring it out. No, you ain't got it. You, the Most High brought you here for a reason. You knew you was an Israelite from the tribe of Levi. You walked in front of the brother's day. Now you got to get a little bit of correction. Right. Exodus 20, verse 8, read. The book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 8. Uh -huh. Remember the Sabbath day. Yes. What day is the Sabbath day? Say again. Saturday. That's today, right, sis? So the Sabbath day is Saturday, read. To keep it holy. To keep it holy. What, uh, sis, how are you keeping the Sabbath day holy right now? We came out here to edify our people. To let the blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans know that they are the Israelites going to the Bible. And lo and hold and behold, one of our sisters woke up who knows she's from the tribe of Levi. She does not have on a fringe that she forgot the Sabbath day. It might be, it might be because, what you say, what you say? You didn't forget it. Six, come on. Keep reading. Uh, six days shall thou labor. Sis, where you going? You don't want to hear it. Sis, hey, sis, I got one more for you. That's 219. That's 219. Hey, sis, you should not run the direction. You should hang on to direction. But that's the only thing that's going to save you when Christ returns. Don't run from correction. It's for you. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling, 
These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.